Libra. Happy December. I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays. Okay. Um, let's see. One, one note, that's all. Um, I'm not going to do mid-month Decembers, okay? I have this spread here. I think it's going to get us through the, the remainder of the year. We are all under major time restraints here, myself included. So I think that this will suffice, okay? And in January, I'm going to do a year overview. So that'll get us off to a good start, okay? If you need a personal reading, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. But I think that this is this is uh, going to get us what we need for the month, okay? I'm going to do a double uh, deck throw as well, okay? And clarifiers if need be, so... And I'll have some advice here for you, okay? All right. Okay. All right, Libra. What the heck? Okay. All right. Good Lord, Libra. Okay. There's a lot of arguing going on in here, and I can't tell if this is within yourself yet or... The conflict going on is either within yourself or you're trying to carve out a new path for yourself in life and you're meeting a lot of resistance, okay? All right, the energy coming into December, you've got the Ten of Wands and you've got the Hierophant, okay? This is the energy coming in, okay? It's the end of the year. The Ten of Wands, too, thank goodness, is the end of something, okay? The Hierophant is about principles. At his core, he's about morals, okay? It's, it's, what are your principles, okay? Is this, a lot of times that's called, uh, I'm going to say do things the right way here. If you're trying to get something off the ground or if you're trying to do something, okay, sometimes we need a lot of resistance. If we're trying to carve out a path for ourselves in an industry or something that is, for lack of a better word, a cutthroat industry, okay, you're going to hit a lot of resistance. You're not going to find many people that are actually going to help you, sadly, okay? That could be what this... There's a lot of wands in here, and there's a lot of swords. Like I said, with the Hierophant, he's about principles and morals. More than anything else, right? At his core, that's what he is. The Ten of Wands, if you're, it's the end of something, though. Thank goodness, okay? Again, I think that if you're going in a direction where, you know, you may have asked someone for guidance, right? Hey, I'm looking to cut into this business. Can you give me any advice? right? And then you took their advice and not only did you do well, you sped past them, right? And now you're meeting a little resistance because they're a little pissed, okay? No need for that though. There's no need, be happy for someone if they succeed, right? But something is 
someone's not happy here. Okay. So above all else, do follow your principles and your morals. Okay. You can't please everyone all of the time, but just make sure you're doing this in the right way. Don't be running over people, I guess is where I'm going with this to get where you're going. All right. Do it the right way. All right. Okay. In the past, which is like now, okay, you're going to see where I'm going here. You've got the five of wands, okay, and you've got the lover's card, which is the choices card, okay. Between vice and virtue, I'm going to say here, okay, and the five is that no one's really backing you right now. There's, you know, it's usually not a major upset. It's just you know, either people not willing to help you or, you know, everyone thinking now they're entitled to their input on something. Okay. Choose wisely, I guess is what I'm going to say with this. We'll go back and see what it's about. But just looking at this reading, there's a lot of conflict in here. It could be conflict within yourself too. Okay. I think a percentage of it is that, but I think a percentage of it is you may be hitting walls here. I do have good news though. Okay. Sort of. Okay. Your current position, you've got the Ace of Wands and the Justice card. Okay. The Ace of Wands is and the Justice card. The Justice card is, you know, it's a tough one. It's a karmic card though, too. Okay. It's you reap what you sow. Okay. It's a strong foundation though. At it at its core, it's about truth. Okay balance, fairness, okay? Even the emperor falls, again, so I'm going to say, like I think I just told, uh, I can't remember what sign it was, but there was an air through there that, you know, your plan took off really well, but don't get cocky there because people will take you down, okay? And not in a, in a good way. This is starting something new, okay? This is uh, a new relationship. It's a new project, but you've got the oomph of all the fire within you to get it where it's going, okay? Um, oh, I had a message on that, but I honestly just lost it. A new path. That's what it is. If you've got Again, this goes back to you carving out an edge to how you're trying to get something off the ground. Again, make sure it's done. You know, vice and virtue here. Make sure it's done in the right way. Okay. All right, we're going to we'll go back to that. You've got the devil card here in your future coming up position along with the queen of swords. Okay. The queen of swords, she's the master communicator, okay? But she's also about transformation. A life lived and not lived is our devil card, right? Sometimes we need that power push through things. Okay. But it's an over, it's an overindulgence in something. It could be an overindulgence in power. She's, you know, gotta, you know, she'll tell you right how it is. Um, give me a minute. I think this chaos is inside you. I think you're doing this to yourself. <laughs> Hear me out. This is in the future's position. I think the devil card, you're giving your power away to the past. Okay. They're not, look, she's not, she's looking forward. You know, the, the these are the nightmares in the past right? And they're things that we hold ourselves to, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that someone else did this. We, we 
that monkey on the wheel sometimes can can keep spinning for years, right? But but at some point, you know, she's just basically telling you, you know, shit or get off the pot here, let's go. She's ready for transformation, but she's not going to mince words. If this is an actual person who's helping you, she's sometimes, you know, you need that that loving kick in the ass, right? And that's what she would give you to get you out of your own way, okay? I think you're oh, you're just playing something over and over and over here, which is you're, she's about ready to give you some sort of therapy, okay? And I say that in a nice way. I, I really do. But sometimes we're our own worst enemy, and we slow ourselves down, okay? Your advice here? You've got the Five of Swords, and you've got, um, I'm sorry, you're, okay, um, I think to what could be happening here and you're not doing it intentionally is I think that how you think you're coming across is not how you're being heard. You're kind of, uh, I think you're shocking some people. I'm just going to say this and I, I don't mean anything negative by it, but sometimes what we say, someone else finds offense with that. You know, I'm an Aries, for example, right? I, I'm very much like this. I don't candy coat things. I just, I don't think it serves a purpose, right? Sometimes, though, you need to know your audience, okay? Because sometimes someone can't handle something that abrupt, right? You've got to fluff it just a little bit here. I think you you may not have ill intent with how you're saying something, but it's being perceived quite differently, okay? Your advice here, honestly, I think is to just proceed with caution and really, really... Um, Watch your words here. Choose wisely how you say things, okay? Or they're going to end you up here. You're going to be, you are going to be like that. You're going to be stuck, okay? You need to be heard, but you need to do it in an appropriate way, okay? All right. Because like I say, there's there's a lot of excitement here, and I, I feel that, right? But I also feel... Uh, and I don't think you're doing it intentionally, but I think you may be either running over some people or you're hitting resistance here somewhere. We'll go back over these cards. Don't panic. I'm just trying to give you a heads up. Okay. All right. In your environment, you've got the King of Wands and the Temperance card. Okay. King of Wands and the Temperance card. The Temperance card is about balance. It's not so much about patience. It's about balance. Okay. It, it, balancing your emotions with your intellect. Okay. And like I said, the majority of this reading are swords and wands. Okay. You're just trying to balance things. That's exactly what he's telling you. He's a very creative person too, charismatic, comes at things with an edge, right? People know who he is. He's got, you know, he's like the male version and it can, it's not gender specific, but he's, you know, him and the queen of wands, they're the hostess and host with the mostess, right? They're, they're pure fire energy here, okay? And you're, you're mixing that with pure intellectual energy here. This is like the perfect storm. The people watching don't know whether to drop, tuck, or roll, right? And there's no ill intent there. It's just, it's a lot for people that may not be used to that, okay? All right. I find humor in that. I think this is, I feel the oomph behind this, and I love it, right? Um, but I also know I've seen that look of horror on people's faces, you know, sometimes. So, all right. Your hopes and fears here, you've got, again, this is your advice 
okay, to watch your words and, and you know, you've got to make a movement here. You've just got to do it in a different way. You're not stuck, you know, you're just hitting some resistance. You don't want to stop. You just want to critique things a little bit, okay? And you've got the five swords again, okay, showing up in your hopes and fears. So you're getting the picture and you're taking a step back here, okay? I think that you had a lot of vigor coming out of the gate. You were thrilled this was going to go this way, this way, this way. What you didn't anticipate was people's uh, reactions to your actions, okay? It's just learning how to balance those is all, all right? We, the key in all of this is to know your audience. Be that in anything in life, right? Just know your audience. You may feel that you want to come at something like this, but if your audience can't handle it, you're shooting yourself in the foot here, okay? This is the power coming behind you here, and, and this is what it's getting you, you know? Okay. This is your environment. Just balance it all. Just, just balance it, okay? He would know how to do this, okay? Okay. Be open to what other people have to say, okay? You've got three of cups here, okay? That's the three graces, okay? It is not exactly how things are turning out, but, but you're being handed here something, okay? You're getting a message, clearly. Divine intervention is, is telling you what to do here. Don't be so stuck in a martyr role right? That you're not hearing the blessings coming in for you. Okay. In the outbound here, you come in with the five of wands. I'm going to say this is not going to be a lovely month, Libra. I got to be honest. You come in like this, right? And you go out like this. You've got two five of, of wands here. So you're still fighting with yourself. The good thing is that with this on the outbound, all right, on the inbound, you were coming in with vice and virtue here, making choices, right? Through the month, you know, vice and virtue here, you learned what worked and what didn't work, okay? That's a good thing, okay? At the end of the month, though, I think you're still fighting with either people or yourself or, or, or people just are not seeing eye to eye with you. The good news is that the world card is here, okay? It's the ending of something and the beginning of something. When the world card shows up, it means that you've grasped how to, to not meet resistance, to go with the flow of things, right? So you're, you're, you're taking on a different approach of things, okay? So this, as severe as it was coming in, is not going out, okay? It, you're still meeting resistance, but you're figuring it out, and it's, it's less intense than this. Look at the cards even, right? All right. How do I say this? I think Libra, right? You're the, uh, you know, the 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 archangel sign, right? You now need to learn how to interact with the world better. Okay, this month I think is a learning curve. You're just getting your feet wet, okay? If you walk away with anything from this reading, okay? Know your audience. Know your audience, okay? It doesn't matter what you're trying to say if they're not willing to hear you, okay? So you've got to find that balance in there, okay? I know this wasn't lovely, but look at it this way. At least now you can see how it's going to play out and what you need to critique, right? So, you know, I guess I'm this kind of reader, right? And I apologize, but I'm here to help you and empower you, not, you know, you know, this isn't the county fair. Life sometimes is, is trial and error, right? So, okay. 
I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If you need me, I'm here. Reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to look at anything for you. Um, I will see you in January. Okay, thank you so much.